welcome to another episode of Nostalgic Knickknacks. My name is Ryan and this is my retro gaming perler beating YouTube channel. Thanks so much for being here. Hope you're having a great day. Today, we're going to take a look at Live Alive for the Nintendo Switch. And we're going to talk about a little bit about where this game came from. And if you didn't know that it is indeed a retro game that's been completely redone. If you like this video, please make sure leave me a comment, let me know. I'd love to continue doing great videos. I enjoy it. I love retro gaming. And I want to share that with you. So the first thing I want to say about Live Alive is that I never got the chance to play it when it came out. This originally came out for the Famicom in the 90s and in Japan and we never got it here in the US officially. We never really got that official Nintendo branded re-release and this past year it just exceeded so many expectations. I was just blown away by it. The music, the gameplay, the characters, more than anything, the characters. Brand new pixel art, brand new everything is just jaw-droppingly gorgeous. I love this game. In fact, it was my number one game of last year. I absolutely love pixel art and I loved this game. Let me talk a little bit more about it. If you don't know anything about Live Alive, uh, I, I'll just give you a quick look at what this game offers. So as far as the story goes, Live Alive is actually several different stories. All of these characters have a story. And think about it as if you have Let's see, we have five, six, seven, eight, eight different movies, and you can choose any one of these movies to go watch. But instead of just watching it, you play it. So you are playing in these different time periods, and you're seeing this the drama unfold, you're seeing the, such unique characters play their parts, and the music, so wonderful. I love the music. So that's kind of where it starts and this really came from where the creators were wanting to uh, really bring pop culture into a video game. They really wanted that sci-fi movie. They wanted that Wild West movie and this game comes from all of those different influences and they boiled it down into this package. So. I'm just gonna read this real quick. Fight to survive in the ancient past. Infiltrate a, ca a castle in Edo, Japan. Unravel a mystery in the far-flung future. And more in this HD 2D reimagining of a hidden RPG classic. Every era features a different way, of pl way to play. And I can tell you, each of these storylines, each of these chapters, if you will, the, the way you play them is very different. So for example, in the Wild West, you play as Sundown. Your goal is very straightforward. I'm not gonna spoil things, but it's a straightforward story. It's actually one of the shorter stories, but you get a, a very specific goal have to do different things. So contrast that with the distant future and you're playing this adorable robot named Cube. And Cube is, is made and he's on this spaceship with the crew members. And you get to see all of their interactions and this uh, this journey that they're on and you learn more about it as the story progresses. I really like that and The other fact is there are literally no battles in that whole storyline till you get to the boss of course but 
Live Alive just offers so much. Those are just two characters. I'm going to go through the rest of the characters real quick. We have uh, the main character of the Imperial China chapter. And that is Earthen Master Shifu. We have the prehistoric times. Pogo, the child, uh, caveman child. Then we have Masaru. And he has... a. a the goal of his story is to be the best fighter and there's street fighter influence in that in his story just i think it's so amazing how they fit in all these these influences into this game as a very ambitious game and then we have the twilight of Edo japan this this pixel art just floored me when i saw it in the nintendo direct last year just amazing. Uh, he is infiltrating a castle. He's a shinobi ninja. How, how cool is that? Then we have the near future. The character here, his name is Akira. And Akira is an orphan. It tells you that at the beginning of the story. And Akira also can read minds. And you press a button to read anybody's mind that you talk to there's just so many different mechanics in each story the the middle ages what a great story that is this is more of a traditional rpg type of story and you have this main character he's the knight his name is orsted great great character you learn more about him of course as you do that story but there's a wizard there's some other characters that join your group. And, and speaking of that, the characters in each story that join your group, it's just, they're really great. You have, uh, in, <laughs> in, in one of the stories, you have a green spiky haired guy who drives a motorcycle and, and, and he just has such a personality. I just love that character. There, there are so many others. In fact, I'm going to be putting out a series of Perler Bead creation videos where I'm, go I'm going to make a character set of each, from each story, uh, in their 2D sprite forms. The battles are grid-based, so you move your character along these little squares and you have a certain amount of squares you can move until the enemy takes their turn. And you know when that's coming up. It, it's just a really different way to play with that grid-based battle. There are no ability points. You can do the, the skills, abilities as many times as you want. And I really did throughout this game. You, you have to. There really is no regular attack button that you can press. You just have a huge amount of skills and abilities. I have to give this game a complete 5 out of 5. I love it. I'll recommend it to anybody who loves JRPGs. And the great part about this game is if you're an adult and you have a busy job, you have kids, you're going to play through these sort of vignette uh, chapter stories pretty quickly and and in one setting you could go through for example the wild wild west uh wild west with uh with sundown i really love my experience with live alive it has brought back so many nostalgic memories and when i learned that this was kind of a stepping stone for Square Soft at the time because it was called Square Soft, not Square Inga, Enix. But at the time, it was more of a stepping stone to Chrono Trigger, which makes a lot of sense because in this game, you had, you didn't really have time travel, but you had different time periods. So it makes a lot of sense, and I'm so glad that I got a chance to to experience that history that shows that step towards the time travel of Chrono Trigger. The sprites are very similar looking too. 
And when you look at Akira and his, and his spiky Dragon Ball sort of looking hair, it makes a lot of sense that this was what could, this is what could be leading up to Chrono Trigger. It really brought me back to the moments of playing Chrono Trigger for the first time, the moments of experiencing a story like this. I don't get to experience that very often, so I'm so grateful I got to play through this for the first time. And I'm, I'm an adult, and I got to play through a game like the games of my childhood. I can't wait to see more remakes, games I did not play before, games I did not get a chance to play before. So think about it. If you really love JRPGs, you want that retro nostalgia feel, you want some great pixel art, and you want a short game. We need shorter games these days. Some of these JRPGs I haven't even attempted, like Xenoblade Chronicles. 150 plus hours, are you kidding me? I can't do that, but I can do this. So, now I turn it over to you. What was your experience like? Did you like it? For good or for bad, I'd love to hear about it. And tell me, who is your favorite character? There's so many characters. It's like picking your favorite child. I can't, I can't pick one, so. Uh, <laughs> of course, the robot turtle is my is one of my top just excellent characters. I hope you enjoyed some of my thoughts on Live Alive. This game is is a new favorite for me. Like I said, top top game of the year. I haven't gone back to it in a while, but I did complete it. Stay tuned for more. I've got plenty of more games to talk about. Thank you so much. Have a great day and Till next time, keep it retro.